Welcome to Grower Green. We're here with Margaret Hagen from the UNH Cooperative Extension today. Winter is over. Is. Spring is here. The forsythia is starting to bloom. It and is. now is a good time to start going after crabgrass, it right? It is. It is. A lot of people have crabgrass in their lawns, especially along the edge of a lawn that meets the road or along a sidewalk where it's really hot and dry. And frequently in areas where the snowplow nicks the grass and it has trouble spreading back in. So those areas you need to think about whether you had crabgrass last summer and apply something to prevent it now. And if you know you have crabgrass, um, if you have these sort of coarse leaved plants that are a lighter shade than your lawn. And then about July and August they start sending up the seed heads which are really fine. And the reason you want to get rid of crabgrass is that it's an annual, so it dies with the first frost, so the rest of your lawn is green and it's brown. And also, each one of these little seed heads has 150,000 seeds. Oh, boy. Yeah. So how do we tame this and get rid of it? Okay, so um, about the time the forsythia flowers are out, you want to rake your lawn out, get rid of all the winter debris, and then you can either put down just a plain crabgrass killer, or you can combine it with your spring lawn application and um, spread it with a spreader, um, either a rotator spreader or a drop spreader. And then the last thing you need to do in order to activate it, you need to um, make sure that if it's no rain is forecast that you apply about half an inch of water. And the, the um, crabgrass germinates about this time, and you don't even really see it until it's about this tall in early June. So don't expect it to like come, well, once you plot the pre-emergent, it shouldn't come, but if it does, it, you don't usually notice it until late May or early June because it grows so slowly at the beginning of the season when it's cool. And is there a cutoff time, Margaret, as far as doing this? You really want to get it down within that three-week period where the forsythias flowers are coming out, blooming, and dropping. And after that, it's already germinated. The idea is that the grass will come up through the film of herbicide and it will kill it. And then lastly, if you want a little more information on crabgrass, we have a fact sheet that you can call the info line or, or get off the website. Thank you, Margaret. You're welcome. Great tips. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.